you can tell how you, you feel good? Say yeah. yeah. You had a great day? Say yeah. yeah. I had a good day. I was looking around Best Buy. I want to get a new, a new flat screen TV. I want a big TV. I'm doing Vegas right now. I deserve it. The guy says to me, do you want a smart TV? I said no. I want a dyslexic plasma with a lazy eyeball. Hello? <laughs> How smart can a TV be? Can it make me a sandwich? Can it do a Sudoku? We're living in a world with smart, smart TVs and smartphones and dumb people. Last night I did a gig in LA. I'm driving back last night. I got pulled by the cop. I said, are you gonna, are you gonna have to give me a cavity inspection? He said, son, whatever you're hiding, take it out now, boy. I said, what do you want first, the banana or the Mexican? <laughs> really? Really? Who's new to Las Vegas? Give me a round of applause. Brand new, never been to the same city before. What do you think of some of the people walking around these streets? Have you, have you seen some of the creatures walking out of McCarran Airport? You used to actually have to have money in class to come to Las Vegas. Now look around. Have you seen some of the, some of the people on Fremont Street? People used to actually dress up to go to the shows, dress up to go to the casinos. Now you've got people walking down the streets wearing t-shirts, flip-flops, and big hairy butt cracks hanging out. And that's just the women. <laughs> I'm from England. I'm a British... Any, any British people out there? Yeah. Uh, there they are, the Brits. Generally depressed. <laughs> Here, wait. It's alright, it's good to have He's a friend of mine. He's good. He's okay. I, I, I live in Las Vegas. I love America. Big, big hand. Where's the Americans? Yeah. <laughs> I love the people, everyone's so invited and excited. Uh, so I'm walking everywhere I go, in Walmart, Home Depot, whatever. Where are you from, man? You're different. You talk funny, boy. You're different. <laughs> I had a guy said to me uh, yesterday, he's like, where are you from, man? You're not from around here. I said, no, I'm from England. He said, yeah, I love England. I went to Dublin last year. <laughs> One guy, a couple of months ago, it was, uh, it was July. It's 4th of July. He says, what do you guys back in England do to celebrate 4th of July? <laughs> well, that's like me going up to a German person saying, do you have a big party every year to celebrate the, the fact you lost World War II? We got kicked out of America. We don't have a big party every year. There's too many British people in America. Wouldn't you agree every time I turn on the TV, there's another British guy talking bullcrap? Yeah. Kicked out Pierce Morgan, got rid of that guy, he replaced Larry King, didn't he? Yeah? Talking to Americans about politics, government issues, gun control. Someone should have shot him in the mouth. Look, every time I turn on the TV, every time, yeah? You've got the celebrity chefs. Right, what are we, what are we renowned for in England for having terrible what? Terrible food. You've got all the celebrity chefs from England coming out of Vegas selling American people burgers for a hundred bucks. Gordon Ramsay, all right, I know him, he's a friend. Jamie Oliver, you know that guy? The naked chef, he's coming out here calling all, all American kids fat and obese. That guy's got no right to call your kids fat and obese. Jamie Oliver, have you looked in the mirror lately? He looks like a middle-aged lesbian that let herself go. <laughs> his beer belly and his bitch tits. Get off TV. <laughs> we don't want you out here. I'm okay. This guy over there, he's okay. It's too many. What about One Direction? You know One Direction? A little pop group from England coming out here. Five little guys from with their skinny pants and their itchy penises. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fully grown adults, driving convertibles down Las Vegas Boulevard, listening to the story of my life. The there is no story, they're 12 years old, they don't even have armpit hair. <laughs> I am exactly right. <laughs> no, I'm exactly right. No, we should get, get, get rid of those little guys. They're on every, every television commercial. One Direction are doing the commercial. Verizon, they did the Super Bowl. Now they've got a new one. It's an anti-bullying campaign. Stop bullying American children in American schools. Yeah, I, I, we've got to toughen these kids up. I want to start a campaign to start putting bullying back in American schools. <laughs> what are we raising out here now? Yeah? I used to get bullied throughout my school days. Every day of the week, I'd get punched through walls. I'd have dog poo rubbed right in between my teeth. And that was all before I even left the house. <laughs> Here we are in Las Vegas. You know, you seem like a nice crowd. You'll loosen up, you'll tighten up. It's a great room, I've got a great show. But I do, I look. I saw today, there's a guy walking down Fremont Street. He's got a, a SpongeBob t shirt on, he's got a yard of margarita strapped to his back with a balloon animal hat with a massive penis on it. That guy should be on vacation, that guy should be in a mental hospital. 
Have you seen some of the old ladies? They're strapped into their slot machines by their players' card. They're strapped in. They haven't even checked into their room yet. They're just clicking those 90-year-old fingers. In the, in the other hand, they've got a lit cigarette between every finger. <laughs> piped up to an oxygen tank. <laughs> People. I found a lady asleep, she's on a bench. She's asleep, she's got a cigarette in one hand, and one of her boobs were hanging out. I'm like, lady, wake up, your boobs are getting all red and hot in the sun. She's like, thanks, where's the baby? <laughs> <laughs> people are drinking a lot as well. People that don't even drink, people have never drank in their life, they come out of Las Vegas, everyone's drinking. I was going back to my hotel room last night. There's a guy, he's on the floor, he's wasted. He said to me, dude, can you help me? I said, I'm going to help you. I'm going to drag you all the way back to your room. So I dragged him all the way back to his room by his head. I was skull dragging this guy. He pointed at a door. I was like, door? She said, yeah. I knocked. A woman answered. I said, uh, I found your husband. He's in a bad way. She said, I can see that. Where's his wheelchair? <laughs> It's still hot, we're in October, it's like Halloween, it's still hot, it's beautiful sunny weather. Some of you come from, from, from cold places. Where's the Canadians? You out there? How you doing, Canada? You like it? It's good, isn't it? Let it hey, uh, Canadians, come down to Vegas, you can top up your suntan. They'll go from pale to off-white. <laughs> come on, lad, I don't need to be here. I could be stood right now outside the Bellagio, dressed up as the cookie monster. <laughs> i got options. <laughs> you, yeah, you're all right, you are. Have you seen some of the hairy people? There's a lot of hairy people in the city too. There is a lot of hairy men and women too. We're not gonna point them out. I think you know who you are, girls. <laughs> I said, uh, I was in uh, at, a, at a pool earlier today. The one lady, she gets out of a hot tub, yeah? Right, she gets up, I mean, come on. Everyone's wearing their brand new bathing suits, but some people should have tried them on before coming out to the desert. <laughs> Stuff hanging and sagging and flopping. <laughs> yeah, you're right. One lady lifted up today, she got out of a hot tub, she lifted up what I can only describe as a flap, go inside, yeah, have a reach inside, and pull out a panini. <laughs> go back to the hairy people. The European guys, you know, they're covered in hair, they love it. They're walking down the street in their tight little pants and their little sandals, covered, head to toe in fur. I thought it was a pubic tsunami coming towards me. <laughs> He's doing that. Get out of here, put some clothes on, please. I work around, yeah, I live out in Vegas now, but I go all over. Where's the people from the East Coast? Got the East Coast crew in? <laughs> My tough people. The women on the East Coast have got bigger balls than the men. Where are you from, man? They're like... <laughs> <laughs> I got a headbutt once in a bar in Boston because I complimented a lady on her sideburns. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's that? Is that your pet? <laughs> I've been everywhere, yeah. I've been out of Canada, been on the east coast, down south. Where's the southerners? Got any southern people in tonight? <laughs> Who's going to admit the laugh? Who said that? <laughs> There's some weirdos down south. Who's been to Arkansas? You been to Arkansas? Two weeks ago, I'm coming back from a gig, went to Arkansas. Little Rock, Arkansas. There was an eight drink minimum and a two teeth maximum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting scared. 